Okay, let's go ahead and book the month of August. Again, we're going to book August using general journal entries just to solidify our knowledge of those and it's a great way to practice debits and credits. Again, it's a way you would book it if you were in a crunch mode and you absolutely had to catch up and it's time to file taxes uh, to save time you would probably bypass all the interfaces and just uh, go with general journal entry so let's let's do one more month using that to solidify this capability again debits and credits are right here on the interface so i'm not going to be following along with our debit and credit window because again you have it all right here and uh, it's a great way to practice and you can follow along with me here so let's let's get going our first invoice is from all right, for traders so what's going on here we paid it with a credit card all right credit card is a liability liabilities go up when they're credited. What else is happening here? Well, we're buying some food products, right? So we're going to sell those, uh, convert them into meals and sell those. So those are our expenses for food purchases and supplies, right? So here we are. We got our debits and credits. This one is good to go. Date is correct. Invoice number is correct. Let's continue. Okay, next one is also a credit card. We paid it with a credit card right here. Again, liability goes up. And our expenses for restaurant supplies go up. So again, expenses go up when debited. Here we are. 6100 is up. Our liabilities go up when credited. Here we are, our liability account for our credit card, 21100 goes up as credit. It makes sense, right? We're, ex we're buying items that, that we're expensing and we're not paying for it out of our bank account. We're borrowing to pay for it, so it makes sense. All right, next one was a check. Again, the limitation here is that you know, we can't input check number in a way that uh, check writing interface allows us to. But we can still enter it into the entry number and that would remind us during conciliation that, hey, it's a check number, right, when we see it on the statement. So again, now our bank account is getting affected. It's an asset. Assets are reduced with credits. So what do we have here? We have cleaning supplies. So again, expenses go up when debited, right? Assets are reduced when credited. So what's happening? We're paying for these supplies out of our bank account. So the balance there is reduced. It's an asset. Credit reduces assets. And then our expenses are debited and therefore they're increased. Makes sense, right? Okay, let's continue. Have another credit card transaction here. Alright, now our credit card account is being affected. Liability goes up, right? Because we are buying items, um, in this case drinks, that we're going to sell. So our drink purchases expense goes up. However, again, we're not paying for it with uh, money out of our bank account. We're paying for it by borrowing against our credit card, right? So here we are. Again, liability goes up when credited, right? And expenses go up when debited. Good to go. Dates are correct. Let's continue. Okay, this one is the fun one, right? It's a little bit more complex. We like a little bit of that complexity. It's paid with the check. All right, so one thing we know for sure, right? How do you book complex transaction? Well, we're one thing we know for sure, our bank account is going down. <coughs> All 
All right, what else do we know? Our utilities expenses going up. So here we are, right? Expenses go up when debited, and assets are reduced when credited. Because we're paying for it with a check, our balance in our bank account is reduced, and credits reduce that. And then again, our expenses go up, and they go up when they're debited. So our 63100 utilities expense account goes up. Okay, this one is the one that's uh, the big list one, is the one that we got to dissect. All right, we got our check number. Again, one thing we know for sure, bank account is reduced. All right, and now we have multiple expense accounts on this one, right? We have rent, they're kind of combined. But it's a great illustration that, again, the number of accounts you debit and credit in any given transaction is absolutely relevant. What is relevant are these totals, and they have to be in agreement, they have to balance. That's the only thing that has to balance. You can have as many accounts credited as you want, as many accounts debited as you want in a single transaction. What bottom line is, that what is required is that these two have to equal, right? The sum of all debits and sum of all credits has to equal. Okay. Let's continue. Insurance. So here we are, right? We're crediting our bank account. We have just one credit here. It reduces our bank account by this amount. Makes sense. This check, once cashed, will reduce our bank account by this amount. So it's credited because, again, bank account is an asset. Now, all of these expenses is what we're paying for, right? So they go up. And again, in this case, we're hitting multiple expense accounts. It's irrelevant how many we hit. What is relevant is that the sum this debits have to equal to this credit. All right, we're good to go. At this point, um, we're done booking invoices. Let's continue with booking receipts for the credit card. Okay, in this case, credit card account is being affected. Liability goes up, and liabilities are increased through credits. What else? We have fuel. Our fuel expense, that goes up, right? And we already know expenses go up when debited. So here we are. Good to go. Save a new. All right, another gasoline expense. Again, very much identical. The only thing that changes is the date, right? Oh, we got to change the date. Always check the date and the invoice number, and then the amount. So here we are. We're good to go. Let's book this one. Okay, we got our cell phone bill. Card. Therefore, we're borrowing and our liability go up through credits, and then we have our telephone expense, right? It goes up when debit, 62600 Cool. All right, we got a return receipt. So we get an opportunity to do return through general journal entries, right? In the past, we had to switch, remember, through the credit card transaction, there's two buttons. 
here it's much much easier not as user friendly on the appearance but definitely much easier so what do we know our credit card account is being impacted right what's happening to it the liability is being reduced because we decided to return the management book and right? decided to concentrate on accounting for now we don't have any employees we can handle management later down the road right but so we're returning this book all right and it was remembered from our training but first and foremost let's understand what's happening we return the book the money gets refunded to our credit card account it will reduce our debt and again the debt the liabilities are reduced through debit let's debit it all right what else is happening well we're returning some of those books that we purchased and we booked them as training materials if you remember so our expense for training materials is reduced right we didn't incur that expense we, we thought we would we ended up returning the book so we don't have that so again our training materials that expense account 62900 is now reduced and we reduce it through credits right so good to go all right, date is correct, invoice number is correct. All right, let's continue. Okay, and then we have our credit card payment. All right, what do we know? We know that our credit card balance, right, the debt is reduced by this amount because we're paying, paying it down. Well, we know offsetting has to be credit, right? And we're paying it out of a bank account. And we know that bank account is an asset. And when we credit an asset, it goes down. Makes sense, right? We essentially paid money out of our bank account. The balance went down, but we used that money to pay down our liability. So the balance on our liability went down as well. All right. We're good to go. Save and close. And that concludes booking invoices and credit card receipts.